We have created a kit for transforming any surface into a tactile interface sensitive to multiple points of contact. It works by using two lasers to project a plane of infrared light over the surface and using a camera to detect the position of fingers or other objects as they cross the light plane. We use a special camera with a built-in processor for performing the image analysis. This reduces the latency and tracking to 10 milliseconds, which allows our tracking system to be used for a wide range of applications, including musical applications. We've also created a surface editor that allows you to use regions of the surface to control different kinds of user interface components. First, you configure the interface to fit the dimensions of the surface you are working with. Then you can start placing user interface components on the surface. One type of user interface component, the zone, does not have any built-in behavior. With zones, you simply delineate a region of the surface. Then you configure the zone to respond to certain types of events by triggering actions. First, we define what sort of events it responds to. For example, when touched, or when an object is placed inside it. Then we define when it responds. For example, on touch down or touch up. Then we define what actions are triggered when the events occur. If the zone is being used in a musical application, it might send messages to an external musical device using the MIDI protocol. If the zone is being used in another application, it might send messages to other user interface components to change their behavior. In addition to zones, there are a number of other user interface components that do provide built-in behavior. For example, there are the traditional components, such as buttons and sliders. And there are a number of other components, which we have custom designed for particular applications, such as drawing and making music. Each user interface component in the Surface Editor is a plugin. That means that anyone can extend it with new components to create new and unexpected applications. In this application, we'll use the Surface Editor to control the synthesizer. In this application, we're going to process the sound of a steel sheet with audio effects. We divide the sheet into two vertical regions, and we assign a different audio effect to each region. So how the sound of the sheet will be processed depends on where we play. More of the effect is applied as you move from the left side of the sheet to the right side. In this application, we're going to control the movement of light in a light installation. Multitouch presents us with a powerful interface to control the individual lights or groups of light. We load a plugin with a software model of our installation. This plugin has programs for different types of movement. One program lets us press on individual lights to turn them on. Others let us move objects around to affect groups of light. Here, for example, we pull a sine wave across the angular axis. Now let's show an example synchronizing the light to music. The music is taken from Shostakovich's Preludium. <laughs> 